I think that part of the reason for such a high demand in real estate in terms of on the investment side over the last you know five or you know since 2017 has been driven by that 100% bonus depreciation, the ability for people to uh, buy the real estate and use it to offset either income or gains from their other real estate or if they're a real estate professional, being able to use it against their ordinary income to significantly reduce taxes. Um, so I think that's driven a lot of demand on the investment side. I think we might start to see that wane as we start to get into, say, 2025, 2026, when it drops down to 40 and 20%. Uh, it's just not going to be as powerful, so it'll be in, it'll be interesting to see um, how that pans out. But uh, on, on this, I've seen a lot of people kind of I don't want to say rushing into deals, but uh, moving with a sense of urgency to lock in deals within 2022. And that's both on the active and on the passive side because they want to either stack bonus depreciation for future years. So say you're say you're a limited partner, and you or or you just invest passively in general. Um, if, you, if you're able to buy a property or make an investment in 2022, uh, you're going to get the 100% bonus depreciation, which, if you're not using it all this year, uh, will uh, be suspended and carried forward to future years, which you could use in those future years. So people are kind of investing now uh, so they can lock in that bonus depreciation for the future. And I think that, uh, I I think that 2023 is still going to be a very powerful year. It's going to be 80 percent, which is still very powerful. I think 2024 will be pretty good too, at 60 percent. Uh, but I, I, I would expect people to. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to see. I don't know. I'm, I'm speculating right now. In 2023, I could see people making another big push to lock in that 80 percent, um, and then I could start seeing people even in 2024. I could start seeing it wa- waning because it's just not as powerful, and people are just like you know, if if they're doing it for the tax benefits and only the tax benefits. Um, which a lot of investors, uh, believe it or not, I've seen do, um, then that that interest won't be there. It just won't be as powerful. So I, I, I expect it to still be very strong this year throughout the remainder of 2022. And then going into 2023, I'd expect it to be strong as well. Um, and I expect it to kind of fall off in 2024. We'll see, but that, that would be kind of what I expect to see happening a little bit.